this week my skin is firmer my jawline is snatched and i still have the amazing glow this is so far my favorite setting for the medicube booster pro hi everyone this is darcy and today is week three of the medicube booster pro 30 day challenge where i'll be using the medicube booster pro for 30 days focusing each week in one of the settings and showing before and afters, tutorials and comparing to other Medicube devices as well. This week, we're focusing on setting number three, which is the Dermashot mode. The Dermashot mode is the contour and elasticity care. It uses a very unique EMS to stimulate sagging skin, relaxes the muscle for a firmer facial contour. Today, I'll be showing a very detailed real-time tutorial and my before and afters from using the Dermashot mode by itself for one week. If you want to jump anywhere in this video, please make sure to check on the timestamps below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And also, don't forget to enter the Medicube Booster Pro giveaway. It's really simple to enter. All you need to do is like, subscribe, and comment in all the videos from the Medicube Booster Pro 30-day challenge. And I'm going to be picking the winner from the comments and you have three chances of winning. So don't forget to enter this giveaway. I'm going to start by giving a brief overview of what is the Medicube Booster Pro the Device, and then we're going to talk about mode number three, which is the thermal shot mode. That is the mode I'm putting to the test this week, but feel free to jump around by using the timestamps below. Medicube Booster Pro is a 6-in-1 device. It combines the latest skincare technology such as electroporation, microcurrent, EMS, electric needles, LED, and sonic vibrations, and is suitable to all skin types. Some of the features that makes the Medicube Booster Pro stand out compared to the other Medicube devices is that it is a 6-in-1 device you can use with or without the app, it has a sensor that only turns on when in contact with the skin and it also pauses which is great so you can apply your skincare and continue the treatment once you touch the skin also you don't need to use it with conductive gels meaning you can use it with any of your regular skincare even the microcurrent ems features so it makes it super easy to insert into your skincare routine since you don't need any special gels and you can use it with your regular routine and i have tested out for sure it works. This was just a quick overview of what is the Booster Pro, but if you want more information about it, check out week one, where I give a longer overview. Because this week, our focus is week three, the Derma Shot Mode. The Derma Shot Mode is mode number three, and it is the contour and elasticity care, and uses EMS to stimulate sagging skin and relaxes the muscles for a firmer facial contour. On a clinical trial, it was proven to lower eye bags by 15.3% in two weeks, and decreases sagging cheeks by 5.31%, it decreases sagging smile lines by 4.49%, and decreases sagging lower cheeks by 4.24%, it improves jawline elasticity by 4.89%, and has a reduction of a double chin by 1.21 cc. The clinical trial results are within two weeks, but even using for one week during this week, I've noticed a lot of improvement in all those areas. The Dermashot mode uses red LED light and the vibrations are suitable for muscle care and elasticity. And this combination settings help with elasticity and lifting the muscles. This uses EMS, which is electrical muscle stimulation. So it is very different than microcurrent. And one of the difference between EMS and microcurrent is that while microcurrent uses a gentle current to lift the muscles, EMS uses muscle contraction to lift and firm the muscle. And that's why you see twitching when you use EMS, because it's very similar to when you work out at the gym and you do a contraction with your muscles in order to firm the muscles. And I can tell you that from all the EMS's devices that I have used, this is the most unique. That even though you do have the twitching that other EMS's devices have, there is no pain, there is no sensitivity, you do not feel it on your teeth like the previous Medicube device that at the end I will do a comparison. Also can be used up to three times a day, which I was pretty skeptical of this because EMS is usually a very strong current but i did test the claim and i used twice a day morning and night during this week to make sure my face looked fine and that it was not too much for my face because i'm always telling you guys to be careful to not overuse your devices but this is actually recommended to use one to three times a day plus it is a very unique ems that is very very gentle so even though you do see the muscle twitching there is no pain there is no discomfort and they did improve on this technology from the previous device to 
not have any discomfort and even using twice a day I did not get muscle fatigue and even using on level 5 I did not get any sensitivity I can even use on my eye area even super close to my eyes which I would never use any other EMS device this close to my eyes with no problems and quite the opposite it is really helping me with the crow's feet, lifting this part of my eyes, and it's only been one week, so it truly impressed me. In case you are concerned about any ATP loss when you use EMS devices, because it does give you the twitch, which basically uses the energy of the muscle to contract, some people get concerned with that. I personally have used many different EMS devices for many years in a long period of time, and I never had any bad reactions. But this one goes a step further by including the LED light, which increases ATP. It definitely would counteract any ATP loss when you use the setting. The LED light is quite powerful. You can see when I turn the lights off that you can see the LED light shining from the skin. So it does go very deep, which is great for ATP stimulation, for a lot of great benefits. So I find that it's actually a pretty strong LED light. Plus, it is a very unique EMS, very gentle, and this has become my favorite setting so far, but is also best combined with the other settings, which I'll talk about on the final week of this challenge, how to combine all the settings, because after all, they're in one device, so you can combine them together. But I want to show you the results of each setting so you can kind of see what which one does. So this week, I only use the Dermashot mode, but it does work best combined with the other settings. A tip to enhance the effects of the Dermashot mode is to actually start with the MC mode, which is the microcurrent mode that I talk about on week two to help volumize fine lines and deeper lines, and then do the Dermashot mode after the MC mode to help stimulate the muscles and help with elasticity. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to give you some tips on the technique of using, but on this video, I'm also showing a full real-time tutorial with a lot of techniques and some also bonus movements that I've been using with great results. So check out the full tutorial, but now I'm going to give you an overview of how to use it. One of the things to keep in mind is that you must have the device in full contact with the skin, meaning all the areas of the device, both of the circles should be in full contact with the skin because the current is running through both of the circles and also the technique that you're going to be using is called focus so you slowly move the head making sure it's in complete contact with the skin you pause for one to two seconds at the points where the muscle stimulation works the best to relax the muscles i'm going to be showing on the real-time tutorial some very great techniques for the muscle stimulation for a lot of areas on your face but obviously you can also do your own movements making sure when you slide the device to hold for one or two seconds at the end of the muscle for the lifting but the technique that i'm going to be showing on the full real-time tutorial are very unique to this device so make sure to check out the real-time tutorial as well this is just an overview of how to use it it is gentle enough that you can use up to three times a day from five to ten minutes which i'm going to show you on the demonstration make sure you start with a fully cleansed face and use your regular skincare i have been testing this with many different things i even tested with sheet masks with creams with serums with everything on my skincare and it worked with everything as you're going to see on my before and afters the results are amazing and i use mostly creams when i use the derma shot so that way i could test out for you guys so when you turn it on you press the power button Booster mode, level one. and you sell you press the mode to Micro select Mode. Mode. Level one. to select mode number three which is the derma shot mode you can also control how to get to the modes by using the app which is really great that way you can select the levels and it can Level get three. controlled through the app which is really great so that's an awesome option but you don't need to use the app you can also just turn it on and cycle through the modes but it's nice to use the app that you can select the mode and change the settings within the app on the real-time tutorial will be a combination of the Medicube moves with some bonus moves that I have been using with great success so you guys can have the best results from this device. The technique is quite interesting because the main purpose of this technique is to allow the muscle to relax and the actual EMS current will do all the work. So you'll be sliding the device back and forth, holding one to two seconds at the end 
of the specific muscle areas that I'm going to be showing you. And you will see a muscle twitch because the way the EMS works is by muscle contraction. There is no pain whatsoever. This EMS is actually so gentle that there's no pain, no sensitivity. So now let's get started. Make sure you apply your skincare and that the skin is moist and there's a slip. You may want to apply a lot of your creams on to make sure you have enough of a slip or you can also have a spray of water nearby and spray on to make sure the device is always sliding. You're going to repeat each movement two times and there's a two second hold at the end of each of the movements and you will see a twitch which I explained earlier on this video that it does not cause any pain, there's no sensitivity to the teeth but the way EMS works is by doing a muscle contraction which I explained earlier in the video but turn it on Press the mode to change and start with level 1. One. Two. Close feet. One. Two. Nasal labial folds. One and two. One and two. Now work on the draw. One. One minute passed. Two. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And I do this extra movement when you will slide up. One, two, to work around the cheek muscle. One, Two, one, two, and one, two. Now let's go to the other side. You can look up that make it easier. One, two minutes passed. And two. One, and two. One 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 and two and one and two. Go around the cheeks now. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Now let's do the forehead. One, two. Make sure the device is fully in touch with the skin. One, and two. One, and two. One, minutes passed. Two. One. And two. One. And two. Now from the 
elevens out one and two now up more a little more one and two now, the other side one and two one and two and i do this extra movement you don't have to do it is the one i'm doing because i really want to work on this area here so you can start over because it already has been five minutes also level one make sure you have cream or your skincare around this area here i'm not touching the eyeball i'm going on the eyebrow and there will be twitching i'm waiting for the twitching right here and then i'm going to start counting so start from here you can see the twitch there one two and the twitch right there one two three. i'm feeling the twitch there one and two one more time one and two one and two if you feel the twitch there then count one and two see there's a lift start here one two you see the twitch there one minute passed one two and one and two again one two one two and one two now let's do the neck and i'm gonna bring my shirt a little out because we're gonna be treating the neck this area here and even the trapezium muscle so let's get started turn on still on level one so we start from the jaw you go one and two make sure you avoid the thyroid one and two one and two one and two go up and down and again avoid the thyroid one minute passed one and two Move to the side one and two a little more to the side one and two let's do the other side first starting on the jawline Down one little more. Two minutes passed. One. One. And two. Now up. up. One. Three minutes passed. Two. One. Two. One. Two. And now I'm going to do the trapezium. This is 
extra if you like to do it. I, you know, the machine may turn off and you may have to restart, but I really am loving to do the trapezium for two reasons. So you start right here and then you go up here. One and two, and now you go to the back. Oh, this is so lovely if you have tension on your neck. And two, make sure you have enough cream there. And this movement is that I highly suggest you do it, guys. Uh, again, it may turn off and you can restart because even though it's relaxing the back, this muscle here, also tension on this muscle can cause tension on your forehead. So relaxing this muscle also helps your forehead. So it's just an extra movement that I definitely feel like is worth it. So you go from one and two, and then in the back, one. Oh, it feels so good. And two. This is also an extra movement that I highly recommend because this muscle here also help with the neck. You can find your bone here and you're gonna go up on the bone and under the bone first up two and then down this side two up again find the bone four i mean two on the top and then two down so those are extra movements you can do. I do an extra, extra movement if you like, and I increase the level, level, two, level three. to level three, and I just do one more on the jawline. It may turn off because the neck itself takes five minutes and the face itself takes five minutes. So this is an extra movement that you can do, and I love this for my double chin, and it's amazing that even on level three, I do not feel it on my teeth. So the movement is this. I'm just going back and forth with a couple second stops at the end on the double chin. And even though it's in level three, it's not hurting at all. So this is just a bonus move. If you are concerned with a double chin, you can do it. And I definitely would suggest on level three, just to kind of do an extra treatment of this area. But this is again, just a movement that I'm doing it. And I'm sharing with you guys, if you want to test this out, because a lot of the times my double chin is not really fat, but a lot loose in skin. This device does not remove fat, but one I, minute yeah, I do about one to two minutes on this area. And I just do this until it kind of says two minutes and then I stop. This device does not remove fat, but I find that doing this on my double chin has helped a lot uh, because when the double chin gets firmer, it appears to be less pronounced. So again, I'm just going back and forth for about two minutes. And then I'm going to finish it up when it says two minutes. You can do for about a minute or two. It's really up to you. Since this is an extra movement, I do about one to two minutes. And then at the end, and then at the end, I go back to level one and I just do this. And at the end, I do this movement here, just down and hold a couple seconds because I find that this movement here also helps to depuff and do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. So doing this movement, you can kind of clear up any toxins, extra puffiness after you do it. So again, this is an extra movement that you don't have to do it. But since my double chin is a little out of control right now, I am doing it. And then you end just by doing this a little bit to drain any fluids or any clear up the lymph nodes that this movement may create. And that's it, guys. So this is the tutorial. You can repeat it again if you like, and you can use this tutorial up to three times a day. I've been doing actually twice a day just to test it out, and I'm loving it. Now I'm going to show you my before and afters from using the Medicube Booster Pro on mode three, the Dermashot mode 
by itself for a whole week and this is my three weeks results this week i've noticed that my skin is overall firmer it is really helping me with the crow's feet the jawline is more defined the double chin is improved and also notice lifting and i'm very impressed with the results from the side of my mouth and jowling because even on other devices that i use for a whole month i didn't see this much improvement on my jowls so for sure the derma shot mode has become one of my favorite modes so far especially to firm and lift the muscle i truly love the way it has contoured my jawline has truly helped with my double chin and my necklines as you can see are so much more diminished that I'm super impressed with it. Of course, you cannot use on the thyroid, so you can see the necklines here are thicker than the ones here where I'm using the device. So definitely it works and it works fast. And it's also a very unique EMS mode. And this was only one week of using the Derma Shot mode for the whole week. So that is quite impressive for such a short period of time. But the best results you can see if you use consistently and also combine with the other modes, which I'll talk about it on the final week. So how does the Booster Pro derma shot mode compared to the ems shot which is the previous medicube device that use ems the main difference between the two devices is the technology the booster pro derma shot mode it is an improved technology over the ems shot technology the ems shot technology stimulates the muscle to have managed swelling and elasticity and the booster derma shot mode applies a frequency that is more optimized for facial muscles than the existing derma shot EMS, providing a stronger facial contour effect with no discomfort and no teeth sensitivity. As most people feel with the EMS shot, which by the way, I got used to it, but it definitely, I mentioned on the full dedicated review, that is definitely bitey. You do feel this device. Besides the muscle twitching, there is teeth sensitivity that I got used to because I truly love the results of the EMS shot device. And I have a whole dedicated review with before and afters if you wanna check it out. Unfortunately, it's been sold out for the longest time. And now the Derma shot mode of the booster pro it is an improved technology that truly i feel like if you are somebody that could not use the ems shot device because of the discomfort and you didn't like the teeth sensitivity definitely check out the booster pro on the derma shot mode because i noticed it did give me the jawline contour that i love even with one week of use i feel like my double chin is very much firmer I have more contour on my jawline. My jowling was so much improved, even with one week. As far as results, I feel like both of these devices will give you amazing results. So if you have the EMS shot, by all means, continue using. It's truly one of my favorite devices. However, the Derma Shot mode is truly more comfortable. It is an upgraded technology. I felt like I got results a lot quicker because I used the Derma Shot mode for two months until I got the best results. And I only used the Derma Shot mode on the Booster Pro for one week and I already saw amazing results for my jawline, for my jaws, and for my neck. For the necklines, definitely the Booster Pro gave me the best results than with the EMS shot. It's a gentler EMS that I can even use on my eye area, which when I use the EMS shot, I avoided to use my eye area because I felt it was too strong. It is such an improvement. I feel like it is completely new device compared to the EMS shot. And you also have the extra modes that you can use in one device. So definitely it is an improvement. So if you're somebody that always had reservations with EMS because we're painful, you didn't like sensitivity on the teeth, or you had any concern about any bad reactions from EMS, this is definitely the gentler and the most effective EMS device I have ever tried. So if you're somebody that tried EMS in the past and didn't like it, I definitely still recommend this device because this is the most gentle and effective EMS I have ever tried and I only use it for one week and as you saw my before and afters I got amazing results even with one week. So if you're interested on the Medicube Booster Pro or any Medicube devices I do have a coupon code and I'll leave that in the description box below with my affiliate links and right now they're having an amazing summer sale where you can get 70% off site-wide and that ends on June 25th and the Medicube Booster Pro is actually 50% off with my discount code that 
gets you 10% off on top of the sale. So don't miss the sale, ends June 25th, and you can get the Medicare Booster Pro for $259, and the price is usually $480. So it's a great time to get it if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you're healthy and safe, and I'll see you next week for week number four. Bye!